Hey Sugar Geeks, Liz here. Today I'm going to show you how to get perfectly sharp edges on your square cakes using something called acrylics. Coming up next on The Sugar Geek Show. So what are acrylics? Acrylics are really just clear pieces of plastic, either square or round, that cake decorators use to get sharp edges on their cakes and straight sides without having to do a lot of extra work like the upside down method. I got my acrylics from CakeSafe, and you can learn more about what I'm using in this video, including recipes and tools on sugargeekshow.com. All right, so now I'm gonna start prepping my acrylics. I've got my parchment paper here. You don't need a ton of extra space, maybe an inch. If you don't use parchment paper, your acrylics will stick to your buttercream. So I often see people complaining that acrylics are like a huge pain because it sticks. As well, you have to have parchment paper on there. So I'm coming out from the corners of the acrylics. I'm just gonna cut these corners straight off like a square of each side. And then we're just gonna wrap that nice and tight. I'm using painter's tape because it is really strong and um, holds really well, but it also releases without leaving a residue. Fold this down. I want my corners to be nice. So definitely make sure you don't have any excess paper hanging over these corners because your bench scraper is gonna be going around these edges. So if there's anything that's like loose, they're gonna catch that. There's a bit more prep that goes into using acrylics, but it does make the actual process of getting your cake square and straight faster. So it's kind of like, well, what do you wanna spend more time on? Getting your edges perfect, without using the acrylics or investing in the acrylics and it just, you have to wrap them, but less time frosting. So if you don't wanna use acrylics, definitely refer to my square cake tutorial on Sugar Geek Show. All right, so I have both of my acrylics wrapped and I just wanna make note that when you trim your board, especially if you buy them pre-trimmed, your cake board needs to be just a tiny bit smaller than the acrylic. So my acrylics are six inches. My cake board is five and three quarters inches. So this is really important so that your ganache or buttercream goes all the way down to the bottom edge of the acrylic because if your cake board is the same size as your acrylic, then you're not gonna be able to get to that edge. All right, let's do this. We're gonna take our first acrylic and put it down like so. Buttercream, don't forget the cake board. <laughs> so acrylic, then cake board, and a little more buttercream, first layer of cake. That would have been so sad if I like glued this to the acrylic. <laughs> All right, and then we want a nice even layer of frosting. If you don't feel comfortable like gauging how thick your frosting is, you can use a piping tip. And, it, and however thick your piping tip is, that's gonna be how thick the frosting is. So if you use a piping tip that's a quarter inch or half inch thick, then you can just pipe across and get nice even layers. But I'm too lazy for that. So I just put my layer on there and then I just make sure that it's nice and even. It doesn't matter if it goes off the edges. The process is the same for ganache or buttercream. The, really the only reason to use a ganache is if it's gonna be super, super hot. Even with my baby shower cake, it was uh, 90 degrees that day. So I decided to use ganache on the outside, but I still filled the inside with buttercream. Just trying to make sure that all of my cake layers are even, so they're not like all jagged when I slice, cause I'm a perfectionist. Another thing you can do is actually just bake three layers of cake that are one and a half inches tall if you only want two layers of frosting and that will make your layers a little bit shorter. But I actually really like tall layers. So more filling, taller layers. And last one, always have the bottom of your cake facing up because it's just a nice sharp edge. And then I'm gonna take some buttercream and I'm actually gonna just smooth it on to this parchment paper just so that I don't, so this will just reduce the amount of bubbles that are gonna be on top. And you can place that on top. So then you wanna use your bench scrapers to just make sure 
that your top acrylic is perfectly even with the bottom. Yeah, like so if this was pushed like that, the act of doing this pushes it. So I'm just literally filling in that empty space with buttercream and I'm really, I'm kind of pushing the buttercream too to just make sure that fills any gaps. So now I'm making sure my acrylics and cakes are level again. And then using my bench scraper, I'm gonna start at one corner and scrape from that corner to the center of my cake. And then go to the other corner and scrape to the center. And I'm just going to repeat this and fill in some of my gaps with buttercream and keep scraping until I've got those beautiful sharp corners. Okay, so now I'm gonna place this into the freezer for about 20 minutes until it's nice and firm. All right, our cake's been chilling. Buttercream's nice and firm. Now we can do our final coat. I'm just gonna place that on the outside. So uh, I bought these acrylics from Cake Safe, which uh, is a really great place to get them because they have a bunch of different sizes and uh, they also put a hole in the center of them. So if you ever wanted to use like your acrylics for an act as an actual cake board, you can stack them on top of dowels and stuff. And it works well with their Cake Safe product. All right, so now I'm just gonna clean up the corners. This is the most satisfying part. Look at how sharp that is. Boom. Corner complete. Corner dance, corner dance. So one of the great things about using acrylics is you don't you like don't have to worry about your bench scraper being straight up and down because you're literally just scraping right up against the bottom acrylic and the top one. So it's a great kind of foolproof way to get those sharp corners. So I'm going to uh, scrape this down as clean as I can possibly get it. And then I'm gonna put it in the fridge for maybe five more minutes and then just do one final pass just for those corners because they do get a little bit curved. So you need to go in and out of the freezer maybe like three times. All right, last time. So now we're just gonna finish this, just this edge here, a little bit of soft buttercream. And I have my bench scraper that has been warmed under hot water and then dried. And what this is gonna do is get rid of any bubbles on the surface, make it super smooth. If you see any little holes or imperfections, now is the time to get them. Now, I know I said that this was the last time that I needed to go in the freezer, but I lied, because it does need to go one more time. Just, just to get that last little bit frozen, and then we'll take the acrylics off. So, this is done chilling. I'm gonna turn it upside down so that the cake board is at the top. Untape, unfold it like it's a present. Now you should be able to just slide that acrylic off and then peel the parchment. Beautiful. So you will have this like little edge of buttercream that is technically, there's no board underneath of it. So you'll have to be careful when you're lifting this. So to combat that, I'm gonna take a cake board and put that on top and then flip it over. Unfold the parchment. Acrylics come off nice and easy. We have a beautiful flat top. 
I mean, come on. This is why it's worth the trouble to use the acrylics. So I just have a couple of little spots where there's some wrinkles. That's always gonna happen with parchment paper. So you just smooth that out with some buttercream. Your cake is really cold, so you're not gonna mess up your hard-earned edges, I promise. You're just doing a very, very thin layer. I'm just using a bench scraper that's wider than my cake. Just scrape all the way across. And that, my friends, is how you get a perfectly square cake using acrylics.